Lots of radio nothingness comes radio nowhere. Proud to permit Radio Nowhere. All right, we're back. Welcome back. And we are back. Welcome to Radio Nowhere. I am Steve Stein. And I'm Matt Tackett. Here on WJBD and Radio Nowhere. Hey, it's good to be back. It is. It is. And, and I mean that more than our typical outro or intro or whatnot. It is good to be back. I was going to say, it's, it's been quite some time since you've been <sighs> yeah, well, here. We were just talking about that in the, uh, the bre- or the, during the musical interlude there, and I really cannot remember when the last time I was on the show. I think it's been, what, a month and a half maybe? Well, there was, we missed two weeks which is odd because it seems like one of those two weeks I was actually home. <laughs> that was the week everyone was hmm. sick. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it seems that. I can't okay. recall for sure. But, uh, Interesting. It's been, it's been a long four or five weeks at work. So, Anywho, let's talk about our music. Let's, let's do, and I'll, I'll let you take that since they were your choices. Oh, well, no, I think that, that last one was well, that, Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. That, well, the last one was uh, <laughs> Michael Penn with No Myth. <laughs> And uh, we were talking about, we were, I was trying to think of the other song that I remember from him, and the other song I remember is Seen the Doctor, which I, I like that one too. But apparently, according to the the uh, internets, which we're not supposed to be using, uh, that was his highest charting single. Yeah, and see, I, I, I knew he had another song, but I would have never never come up with that one. See, I think I, I, the reason I think I know that other one is it was, it was in 92, and that was, I'm trying to think. I think that was the year I started at the station, maybe. Well, that explains it. So, it may not have been. Maybe it's 93. But uh, before that, we did hear from Us Three with Cantaloupe, and that one was from 19, uh, 1993. So, that one I definitely remember from my station uh, younger days. Yeah, back back in the old days. But, uh, anywho. Uh, so, what have you been up to, Steve? Um... I have not done anything too exciting. Um, uh, as maybe some of our listeners know, uh, this is kind of a big weekend for me. Ooh. It's the Daytona 500 today. T- today? Yeah. And I am, I am jazzed and excited. I'm, I'm hoping this is the year that Dale Jr. starts <laughs> the year off with a big win and, and just dominates this year. But what are the odds of that? Oh, they're good. They're good. Also, on that note, uh, I would like to encourage everyone to get on WJBD's website and join the Racing Challenge, which I am a part of. Did um, this, this is going to seem extraordinarily random, and I probably shouldn't even uh, say it, but uh, did your friend ever get the uh, Racing Challenge uh, winning T-shirt? That He did not. He did not. Did, that we worked so hard? Well, uh, no, no, that one he did. I, I thought you meant maybe the official <laughs> delivery. The one I no. believe we delivered was like two or three years old. and Yeah, he got a kick out of it. Good it, deal. Good deal. Well, just fun. and and the backstory to that goes: we were finishing up a radio nowhere, and Steve was talking about how his friend had won one of the weeks of the racing challenge, and for whatever reason hadn't gotten up to the the uh, station to get his shirt, and we just thought, well, let's see if we could find it, and we didn't find the exactly the shirts. right one, but we gave him a a one of a kind customized radio nowhere WJBD racing challenge T shirt. Thanks to the magic of sharpies. That's right, and it was fantastic. Oh, it was. Oh, so uh, let's see. How's your team on the uh, racing challenge? Well, I don't know. It hasn't started yet. Well, I mean, how does that work? Do you pick? Do you pick? You, you uh, pick ten drivers. Uh huh. Um, you get points for where they finish in the race, and if you get a driver in the correct finishing position, you get a bonus twenty-five points, I believe. So, so if you said Dale Junior is going to finish first, which I did, then you would get. Points plus 25 bonus points. Yep. But if he finishes anywhere in the top 10, you still get points. Yeah, you still get points. Well, I mean, really, truthfully, if he finishes 43rd, you get, I think, a point or a couple points. But As long as he finishes? As long as he finishes, yeah. <laughs> Which has been kind of dodgy. Now, last year he had a good year. He just didn't quite win. D- didn't quite win. Quite that, win. Does that mean he, he lost sec- all the time? He dodge? finished second several times. You know, 
what they say about second. Yeah, well. Uh, well, shall we uh, play another song? Let's get back into the music. What are we going to play? I, I don't know. What are we going to play? Oh, I want to play this because okay. uh, since Matt's not here, yeah, I can this, sneak this, it in I, here. This, I'm, I'm going to <laughs> scoff at it, but I, I shall allow it. Oh, I love this. This is this is from the video game Parappa the Rapper. You remember Parappa? Uh, sadly, I do. Oh, one of my favorite games on the PlayStation, the, the original. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is from the third stage where uh, he... He wrecks his dad's car, and then he has to try and sell things at the flea market to pay for it. And uh, this is just what we like to refer to as stage three. Yeah, Ready sad. Or? Sad, really. So you want to sell goods at this flea market, eh? You're the new boy, aren't you? I'll tell you right now, the most important... Radio Nowhere on WJBD. One of my favorites, Eddie Money with Can't Hold Back. Is, is it that you... That is one of your favorites uh, as far as... Uh, that song or just artist? I, I, I like the song, but no, I, I guess I should have been a little more specific. That's, he's just one of my favorite artists. Yeah. Top five artists? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, good deal. Uh, before that, we heard a tribe called Quest. I left my wallet in El Segundo, which I always think of that movie with Tom Hanks in it. Uh, I think we even looked it up. I can't yeah, remember. Uh, Lady Killers. Lady Killers. <laughs> it's like, we just looked it up. Uh, and because uh, I always, always remember the the older African American woman in there griping at the uh, the young men mm-hmm. about the all the rap music they're listening to, and she's always referring to "I left my wallet in El Segundo," which was was not a real big hit, which is kind of funny. See, I don't know that I've ever actually seen all of that movie either. To be honest with you, I've seen parts, but I've not seen the whole thing. And then before that, we heard uh, from the Parappa video game, the Yay. third stage. Yeah. <sighs> It was fantastic. Yeah, I, I still, even hearing the song, I, I just, I don't, I just didn't get it. I just don't get how you couldn't. That was like one of the few video games my wife liked, and she hates video games. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. He was which, a little punk. Which begs the question of how we ever got married in the first place. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm trying to think what else I was going to say. I'll tell you what, you know, we were talking before the break or before the songs that uh, about how long it had been since you ha- have been here. I, I mean, I'm not sure we have all been together since, have we been together since the Vending Machine Olympics? Uh, I don't think we have. I think that may have been the last time we were all together. It's been quite some time. Because uh, Funky was napping for all those weeks. Yes, and then, uh, yes. Chad is 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 more Spotty sporadic at best. than I. Am. Yeah, yeah. And so, well, you know, um, within a up- couple months here, we've got like our first year anniversary coming up, don't we? We do. And that needs to be just a spectacle. I mean, just huge. <laughs> you, you, you know what will happen on the uh, one year anniversary show? Nobody will be able to make it. Exactly. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll all we'll all plan on being there, and there'll be like a. F- freak thunderstorm that's what will actually happen the there'll, station will just go off be, the air be a thunderstorm and bruce will be up there doing weather coverage the whole time and we'll just be sitting there waiting we could we could commentary his weather coverage bruce takes severe weather pretty seriously well I don't think yeah he would allow yeah probably not allow that but he might press us into work which is always fun yeah i'm still disappointed we missed out on our valentine show i am too it could have been quite entertaining yeah, well, I did. I did think last week's show was amazing. I really did. The uh, TV shows. Well, we had fun. Yeah, it was. It was entertaining. It entertained us at the very least. And and and, and honestly, that's really all it's about. It seems. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 about us. Well, you know, I I, I was going to play a song, but we are so close. Do we want to just uh, look at weather? We could do that. And then after weather, we'll play a song. As in, I'm looking at the weather, or or we're going to have weather. I do it tonight. It's up to you. I don't know. I, you, I'm, you feel I'm not up really to prepared. It? Let me let me see if I can uh, even muster up the the ability to do such things. I know I'm putting you on a spot. I know. I, I would have played a song, but we were kind of. I just looked at the time and went, "Whoa, where did it go?" I don't know. Well, or are you talking about the weather? That too. Um, do you want to give me like an intro or? No, nah, I don't want to break with tradition. All right, great. Thanks. Here's Tonight, the weather with Steve. Uh, thanks. Tonight or this morning. Low of 19 degrees with partly cloudy. Monday, a high of 36 and partly cloudy. Unfortunately, it just goes downhill from there. Tuesday, partly sunny, 
high of 33, and by Wednesday, high of 24, but at least mostly sunny. That's your forecast. Thank you, Steve. Good job. You're welcome. Full service, 100.1 FM, WJBD. The Bee Gees, paying the price of love. How much is that? That would have been a good song for the uh, Valentine's Day uh, special. It would have been. I think it's about three fifty. Okay. Yeah. You get, it's gone down a little bit. Is that for a whole pound? By the court. <laughs> uh, before that, I, I really can't remember what all we've played. We played, um, well, we started with Squeeze. Mm-hmm. And then we played Soul Coughing. Yes. Circles. What, squeeze song was, uh, what was it called? I have totally go- drawing a blank. Uh, Hourglass. That's it. That's the one. And, and you know, I was thinking at first, <laughs> I was thinking, hey, we played a, we were not really supposed to play a Squeeze song after Weather anymore. And I'm like, no, that's Crowded House. That was Crowded House, yes. <sighs> I know. It's just, it all blends together after after a year. So what are, what are you thinking for the uh, one-year show? Well, I think uh, we'll bring back some of our, we, I even thought about doing like a collage show where we could do like our, our greatest hits, not that there's probably I was going to say, what are we going to do for the other 55 minutes? Yeah, exactly. Um, I may have to resurrect um, Steve's greatest, or Steve's uh, mechanical failures in history. I think I've got one I've, I've been kind of sitting on that might be good for a return of, of such magnitude. Okay. And other than that, yeah, maybe wake Funky up, poke him in the ribs or something. Chad, Chad and I could eat maybe another row of them in English. Yeah, show. yeah. Just, just we'll we'll do the Olympics, you know, one one row at a time. Every every year we'll do a row. We could probably take a phone call or two and and have like listener, instead of listener appreciation, have <laughs> have a uh, have them appreciate us and tell us how great and how how humorous we are and stuff. Huh. So, so I don't know. If I have the kind of money that that would take to. Yeah, it's true. It, it, I need to start saving now, probably, and giving away free T-shirts or something. You know that would be pretty pretty fun to uh, actually give away a, like a get like a ten t shirts made you know one for each of us and then give five t shirts radio nowhere t shirts away mm-hmm. on our one year anniversary oh yeah what do you would, think of that they'd be in huge demand I'm sure I'm sure I I still maintain and I I think I mentioned this off the air at one point but I probably wasn't here when you said it no, so you'll need not. to repeat it we need to uh, we need to get a hold of Bruce now and tell him that we need to have the for the Little Egypt Parade Festival next year, if assuming it doesn't get rained out again, we need to have the uh, the Radio Nowhere golf cart where we could be reporting live from the parade, giving our input. Yeah, I could see that. That would be that'd be fun. Except we all seem to have other things that we have to do. Well, that's true. That would preclude that. Yeah, I, I, that's that's true. But I, I would be willing to uh, to forego my usual duties and, and do that. <laughs> I believe if that ever became the case, the Radio Nowhere golf cart. Yes, and then we could adorn it with de- decor and and stuff. <laughs> so, I'm just visualizing that. So something I've, I've uh, uh, one of my jokes at work that I, I, I keep meaning to bring up on the air and, 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 and totally forget about it every week, and, and I don't even know if anybody's going to find it funny, but are you familiar with the, the Kesha song or Keisha song TikTok? Yeah. Um, only and, and only because I'm obsessed with those mashups, and that there for a while it was like in every mashup. Yes, for like, and I it's just it's just one of those catchy songs, and I, I don't even know why. But one day I'm kind of singing it, and and and, <laughs> and, and see that. Yeah, I walk up and I'm I'm talking to a couple of people, and I was just like, yeah, the the party don't stop, or yeah, the party don't stop till I walk in, and that's just kind of become my little tagline now is the party don't stop till I walk in, and it's just funny. That's it's pretty good. I like that. Oh well, let's let's play a little more music. What do you say? Let's do it. Here's a uh, Debreeders. It's Cannonball. Check check check. Is this thing on? It is. Check check check. WJBD. Radio Nowhere, Laura Brannigan with Self Control. Before that, we heard Pearl Jam and Given to Fly. And before that was. Um, it was. It was. 
What? Soap poisoning. <laughs> what are you talking about? The Christmas story. Or Christmas, it, it, yeah, okay. it's, yeah, and the and that the one with Ralphie, and, right, right, yeah, yeah. I just it, what I I've had a long couple days. I guess didn't recognize Christmas story. Wow, I thought I had you with the twas. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, can can you believe we've spent another Radio Nowhere hour playing songs that I'm sure would disappoint some. Oh, I'm sure. And would encourage others. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've gotten to this point in the show. I know. It's it's amazing. I, I never thought we'd got, get here by ourselves. I didn't either. I th- well, honestly, I, I thought we Can, would have a couple episodes. Well, you know, you know, I was, uh, no, I, I just meant tonight, actually. Oh, okay. Well, I, I was trying to think. Too. I don't know. Have we ever just been you and me doing a show? I I can't remember. Uh, if it, maybe maybe once. once. Yeah, maybe once. I was going to look up the official uh Radio Nowhere Wikipedia page, but yeah, it well, doesn't well, exist. Yeah, it's, it's still got problems. Speaking of web pages, though, Radio Nowhere has a YouTube page, actually. Really? Yes, if you search WJBD Radio Nowhere on YouTube, you can find almost every one of our shows. Really? Almost. But, but no, not the music. Correct. I have to edit out the music due to copyright. copyright yeah, me. unfortunately. But uh, that's, that's kind of neat. Yeah. I was going to ask how many uh, fans we're up to on the Radio Nowhere page. Do you know? You know, speaking? actually, at the moment, I do not. Just ballparking? Um, no, I, I, was, I wanted to say 25. 25 fans? 25 fans, yeah. That's, I thought it was higher it, than that. It beats like five. I don't, let me see if I can figure that out for you real quick here. See, because I was looking, and I, I know we're all fans. There's five. Well, <laughs> you know, you, yeah, that kind of puts you, it in perspective, doesn't you it? You would hope we could find it. You know, and, and our spouses, although I don't know that mine is, and I don't know. Yeah, mine is, and I don't I believe. Say. I, I'm not certain about that, but I don't think she is. I think uh, Matt's is, but not the other, not Funky's. I don't think Chad's is. So, Well, there's six, though. Yeah, well. Six out of 25 is not very good. No, I may have to do a little research on that, too. I'm I'm struggling to find exactly. Well, we are we are quickly running out of time. We had two songs we we're going to play, and I I think the sad thing is we're going to only be able to play the shorter of the two. Oh no! I know that's all right though. Yeah, we'll take it. So uh, if you like what you've heard, tell a friend. And if you don't like what you've heard, do not. I repeat, do not tell anyone ever, ever, especially not our fellow co-hosts. Correct. All right. Have a good night. Here's the uh, from the uh, website Homestar Runner, which was. Uh, I read a big article about it one time about how it was the one the early days of the internet and uh it actually managed to have a cartoon that was appealing to adults while retaining its PG nature throughout its entire run and that was fairly impressive. It is. It is. And uh, they haven't done anything with Homestar Runner in years, yeah, but there's always there's always rumors. There's always that hope that someday one of the guys from Homestar showed up at a uh, convention uh, like a computer convention as Strong Bad. That's awesome. That would be <laughs> awesome. And if you don't know what we're talking about, we apologize. Yes. But uh, here we go. This is The Cheat Is Not Dead, Radio Nowhere. The cheat, man. Where did we go wrong? Seems like just yesterday we were setting fire to Strong Bad. Hey, Strong Bad. You like WJBD Salem Centralia. This has been an I Love Raisins production.